Well, the fight over the crown apparently is over. After two days of deliberations, the jury handing in their verdict about an hour ago. Our Tim Gerber is live with more on what happened inside the courtroom, a courtroom that gave this queen her crown back, Tim. Yes, they did, Steve. It was uh, basically the jury had nine questions to decide in their charge. In the end, it came down to just one question that decided this whole case, and that was the jury's decision to find that it was the Miss Bear County organization that breached its contract with Dominique Ramirez. It was in God's hands. Sure. What are you going to do right now? Go to church. Go to church. Now, Dominique Ramirez and her attorney leaving the courthouse just a short time ago with a very big smile this afternoon after the judge reinstated her as Miss San Antonio 2011. In its verdict, the jury chose not to attach a dollar amount to any damages caused to Ramirez by the loss of her crown. The jury foreman, foreman rather, spoke to reporters outside the courtroom and said it was a very difficult case for them to decide. It was, it, was, it was a hard decision. I mean, it wasn't easy by all means. I mean, uh, we pondered a, bun, a, a bunch of a lot of things that we looked at, and uh, you know, we just press on. Now, in her decision to reinstate Ramirez as Miss San Antonio, the judge also ruled on a motion to prevent the Miss Bear County organization from naming anyone else as Miss San Antonio or entering anyone else in the Miss Texas pageant, which is coming up in the next few months. Ben Wallace, the attorney for the pageant, said that the jury was confused in this case and that the judge was wrong to reinstate Ramirez. He said he will continue to fight on, but he didn't give any specifics on what his next move would be. Very interesting day down here at the courthouse. We're now reporting live, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.